from relearn to share and long time no see. I finished my AP exams in May and since it's July I got my exam scores back. Surprisingly, I got a 5 in each of the exams, microeconomics and macroeconomics. So I'm here to share my study tips for those of you who are taking the exam next year, 2023. So to share my results and story, as you can see on the left, these are my scores for the 2022 exams. So I prepared for the exams this year as a freshman and my school unfortunately didn't offer any AP classes for the freshmen. Uh, so I decided to study the quote unquote relatively easier classes outside of school and take the exam. Uh, so I think in my knowledge, uh, the relatively easier uh, subjects include AP Psych, AP Macro, AP Micro, and AP QG, Human Geography. So I think I might recommend you to study for those exams as a freshman, as a start. I think it was really a great experience because I had the chance to like uh, get to know how the entire AP exam works and to just uh, lessen the confusion next year as a sophomore. Yeah. I will share how I registered for the exam individually in the end of the video but this only applies to South Korean students. So these are the three major tips on how to ace the exams. So the first thing I really, really, really want to emphasize is to know the graphs. Just remember, G-I-F, graph is your best friend, okay? So just to be completely honest, if you understand the graphs and know how to draw them for different occasions, it'll be so, so, so much easier to, to solve the MCQs and FRQs, like especially for the FRQs, like the sub prompts for each of the questions include to ask you to draw, for example, a monopoly graph or like an inflation graph. So you really need to be knowledgeable in not just the structure, but you just need to know how to draw them. And the next one is to practice. Just practice is really important too. Like after you feel confident about like uh, the knowledge on the content itself, go to College Board and download some past papers. So I really tried solving them and grading them. And then like I could see the major parts that I was confused and a little bit like lost. So I tried to focus on those sections more than the others. And the last one is active recall. So in order to feel like you master the concepts, it's just it won't work just by reading your textbook or notes over and over and over. Just you will need to like actually recall the content by yourself and realize what content you know well and not know really well. So you can do this by like take out a A4 piece of paper and then like try uh, spitting out all the knowledge that you have about a single unit on that paper and after that you can compare your paper with the textbook and find out what parts you're missing. Next is how to register. So the first method is asking your AP coordinator at your school. So if your school offers you to take those AP classes that you want, you can ask the AP coordinator to register you for the exam. The second method is what I really did, is going to Fulbright Korea. For Fulbright Korea is like a educational institution in Korea, especially specialized for international schools. So you can go to the website that I put there, https www.fulbright.org.korea slash testing slash AP. And you can register for the exam then. The first uh, term season of registering opens around October and I think the next one opens in November or December. So 
thank you for watching and some of my closing words are even though you couldn't get a five in this year's exam you you tried hard enough and i'm really really proud of your hard work uh i believe that you'll always have a chance next time and you can always use we learn to share as a great resource we will always be there for you thank you